I wasn't feeling the coilovers. They're too bumpy for me, even when they're loosened all the way. I bought these KYB gas shock absorbers. So there's three of them here. There's another box over there. This is for you. I'll show you guys what they look like. So they're pretty standard. They're about 60 bucks a piece, so they're a lot cheaper. Going over here, my uh, impact driver is charging right now. So um, what I'm doing is here are the stock springs and uh, shocks. And what I'm doing here is just using this impact driver to take out the nut that, at the top. Um, I have these spring compressors on so the spring doesn't shoot out at me. So I'm essentially compressing that, then loosening that, and I'm able to pull the spring off. So I'm going to transfer all this stuff over onto this one, or whichever is matching. I have the old spring on the new shock, and I have it torqued down, or torqued this and that down. Um, I'll clean this later, but I just wanted to show you something. This is the old one, and all four shocks were blown, so if I squeeze this it's supposed to return but it doesn't so you know that it is busted sometimes you'll also see some uh, grease residue or oil residue so you'll know it's blown as well last night I finished installing the stock suspension with the shocks uh, replacement shocks and the car is a lot higher now I can stick like four fingers in between these gaps so I'm just gonna walk around and measure the distances from the ground or from the tire. It's about three inches, eight and a half, two and three quarters, 13 inches, about three inches, eight and a half, two and three quarters, and nine inches in the front. Today is June 18th, 2019, and the rubber piece on top of the springs on my front suspension, one of them is torn, so it makes this binding noise every time I turn. So I'm gonna replace that, and while I'm at that, I'm gonna change the, the strut mounts or the strut towers i'm gonna change those right there as well and then um, i figured once since i have all that off i'm not really feeling the stock springs i bought this eibach pro kit it's supposed to lower the the car by about an inch and then i have these rear camber bolts too so once i have this i'm going to my friend's shop to get an alignment here's the rubber piece with the hole this is the new one, that's the stock spring, and that's the Eibach one on the right, as you can see. It's about half an inch to an inch shorter, and probably when the car's on, it'll sag a little more. Uh, this is the rear spring, the old one is on the left, and the new one is on the right. It's about the same height, but when the car is compressed, I'm sure it'll drop 